Hello and welcome to my second graphic novel review episode. This week I'm going to start with Uncanny Avengers. Written by Rick Remender, it features a number of different artists. Steve McNiven, Olivier Coipel, Daniela Kuna, and to start with, John Cassidy. This last week saw me read two of the four volumes already out. Volume 2, The Apocalypse Twins. Volume 3, Ragnarok Now. I really recommend this series for fans who want an Avengers, X-Men mashup, meetup that doesn't quite have to be all read with uh, Jonathan Hickman's Avengers, New Avengers, and Brian Bendis's, Brian Michael Bendis's Mighty Avengers. It stands alone and has its own incredibly epic storyline that at the same time dovetails nicely with the events of Original Sin, Thor God of Thunder, and um, the current, the mighty Thor. I highly recommend a fantastic art, great writing, great series for uh, Marvel Now fans. My next book, A Hundred Bullets, is one of my favorite and classic reads. It's written by Brian Azzarello, art by Eduardo Riso. The series is complete at 13 volumes and is an absolutely epic, epic read. Conspiracy, crime noir, a uh, very dark but realistic world. No fantasy, no supernatural, no superpowers. Just uh, a very blues, jazz, dark shadows of America and a conspiracy that had uh, ruled it from its founding. Now, I'm normally a big fan of uh, Batman and Robin, but this volume I just finally caught up on, Dark Knight White... Dark Knight versus White Knight, uh, and I, I don't want to recommend it. It's great value, the number of comic books it collects, but the truth is it came out just before the New 52 reboot. Dick Grayson's still Batman, uh, Damien Todd, if you're a fan of, sorry, Damien Todd, Damien Wayne is Robin. If you're a fan of Jason Todd, it is worth reading some of his sort of Red Hood prior to the New 52 reboot. But since it isn't continuity, and it's not even the more epic or LinkedIn Graham Morrison work, um, I would probably recommend giving this volume a skip. Finally, I caught up on The Legends of Luther Strode, but it really bears starting with The Strange Talents of Luther Strode. Written by Justin Jordan, uh, art by Trad Moore, has an incredibly dynamic uh, energy. The the combat, the violence, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, this is a very violent comic book, goes far beyond something if you're an anime fan of Fist of the North Star or, heck, The Walking Dead. It is just over-the-top action, over-the-top blood and gore, but with a great storyline that kind of modernizes the Peter Parker Amazing Spider-Man uh, comic book motif of a young individual who's not very strong um, and answers, in this case, one of those ads you used to see in the back of comic books but how you could bulk up your muscles and learns this incredibly powerful technique of how to reshape his body, the world, see everything in, in, in a new... I can't even tell you describe it because you really just need to read the comic book. Totally one of my favorite reason image that uh, doesn't get the same press because it doesn't have a TV show or something uh, linked to it. You are seeing work from these creators more mainstream now, um, but uh, this title definitely worth checking out. Two volumes. There's a third scheduled for January of 2015. Well, those are my graphic novel reads of this past week. I hope you'll tune back in next Wednesday. Uh, I'll have a few more that I've uh, plowed through my library. As you can see, I got a lot of books. I hope you uh, have a great new comic book day.